According to Euromonitor, South Korea's coffee is the 10th largest in the world in terms of its overall value. It is also the largest market in Asia, even though its population of 51 million people is only 126 the size of China's. The coffee market has grown rapidly. In the first six months of 2020, Korea imported 90,000 tons of coffee, which was twice the amount imported in 2007. The coffee consuming culture that makes Korea an important market to understand has only emerged recently. Despite this, it is classified as a mature coffee market where value is growing faster than volume. This is exemplified by the size of the coffee shop market where most of the highest priced coffee is purchased. Korea's coffee market may be 10th globally, but its coffee shop market is the 4th biggest in the world. The country's main coffee suppliers are Brazil, Vietnam, Colombia, and the United States. Most markets count Brazil, Vietnam, and Colombia among their biggest suppliers as these countries produce the highest volume of coffee. The US, however, is not a major green coffee exporter. So why is it on the list? Korea's imports include green, unroasted coffee, as well as roasted and soluble coffee. In fact, only 58% of the total coffee imported into Korea in 2019 was green coffee. The remaining 42% of imports are split across roasted and instant coffee products. This high percentage of products imported from an exemplary market can substantially increase the cost to Korean buyers. This also results in higher retail prices for coffee but without the higher margins achieved in other markets for a similar retail price. A substantial amount of this re-exported green and roasted coffee comes from the United States. In the case of roasted coffee, this especially comes from larger coffee chains like Starbucks. Starbucks opened its first store in the country's capital Seoul in 1999. By 2020, the city boasted 284 Starbucks outlets, more than any other city in the world, including New York. It also owned a total of 1,200 stores across the nation. The number of cafes in Korea grew by 50% between 2014 and 2019 to more than 18,000, which is a result of an increase in both independent and chain stores. In addition to Starbucks, Blue Bottle Coffee, and other brands founded abroad, Korean-founded companies Idea, To Some Place, Mega Coffee, and Hollis Coffee contribute to Korea's exceptional growth. The boom in coffee retail speaks to the way that most Koreans have been introduced to specialty coffee away from home. Cafes serve coffee in hot, cold, and blended forms all day and into the evening, providing a valuable gathering place for people of all ages. Non-specialty instant coffee brands like Maxim and Dongsao remain very popular, especially for in-home coffee consumption. But specialty coffee's reach now extends beyond cafes into convenience stores, where high-end brewing equipment appears with increasing frequency. These convenience retailers seek to offer cup quality comparable to cafes at a lower price point per cup. Likewise, the market for ready-to-drink coffee has expanded rapidly in Korea in recent years, showing 31% increase between 2015 and 2019. This is consistent with the rate of growth in the United States and Western Europe. Korea also shares other trades with markets where growth is driven by premiumization, including strong demand for single-origin coffees. For example, Korea is the fourth largest buyer of coffee from Costa Rica, a country in Central America known for producing high-quality coffees that command price premiums from international buyers. One noteworthy feature of Korea's coffee market is the demand for unique experiences, this encompasses experiences produced at origin through unusual methods of post-harvest processing like red honey to the environment of the coffee house in which the beverage is served. 
Since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, live commerce has become a new, fast-growing forum for sales of coffee and brewing equipment. This approach, which combines e-commerce and streaming for an in-home shopping opportunity, exemplifies the innovation that characterizes Korea's specialty coffee market. Korea's consumers are interested in a high degree of customization and value experiences that deliver something new and different. This interest offers opportunities for green coffee sellers able to incur the risk associated with being on the leading edge, as well as potential lessons or inspiration for buyers in other countries.